a beautiful day to be alive and today on our plan to do I'm lucky to be joined by Samuel Mawuku, an arts teacher by profession, a singer, songwriter. Uh, he'll be launching his album uh, entitled Tembenuka very soon uh, in June 6th and uh, he'll be doing it alongside a uh, visual art exhibition. So uh, with me I'm here with Mr. Mawuku. I think let me just give it to the big man so that he can explain for himself what the album launch is going to be all about and the, the visual art exhibition. Uh, so, Mr. Mawuku, you can actually tell us who is Samuel Mawuku in a nutshell. Okay, Mawuku Samuel is, uh, is a person who believes that he was created by God in his likeness, in and out. I believe uh, in what I do. And uh, my name means Magot. You know Magot? Yes. <laughs> Literally, it means Magot, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when I just, I first heard of the name Magoku, I thought it was a bad name. But my father told me that it's a social name. It enters any, any body, any decomposed body. So I've been doing my business in line with the, with what I was told. So my mind and my everything has been positive and uh, I work towards making friends. So I have a lot of friends, young and old. Okay. Yes, that's Mabuk Samuel. He's, a, he's an artist. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying he's, he was created by God in and out. God created from without something came into being. So, for me, if I'm posted in the villages where there is no, nothing, there is uh, like, I don't have any material, mm -hmm. I'm there to start up something. From nothing. From nothing. So, that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, in and out, I was created in the, in the image of God. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now tell us, about the album launch alongside the visual art exhibition that will be coming up uh, in June. Okay, the album launch is um, coming on fourth, uh, on, on 6th June, as, as, as you have put it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it will start by an exhibition. Mm -hmm. So we, like, like what, what, we, what I have come to understand, a lot of people don't enjoy music, Others enjoy visual explanations. So, um, in the visual arts, I've um, dissected uh, popular society. Uh, when people come to the uh, exhibition, they, 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 they will see Luapula within one room. So I've depicted my experiences since I came to Wapula, that is about the visual arts. And on the album, it's still through experiences. It started by an experience, and it is ending with that experience. I think if people uh, come there, they'll come and uh, get to understand uh, my thinking and, and what I've gone through. Okay. So what was the inspiration be behind the Tembenuka song, and uh, which is actually the name of the album, uh, as well as Vakalova and Grady. These are songs that we find in the album. So what was the inspiration behind those? those okay. Songs? When I just started, I began on a, on a note of complaining to God. I asked God a lot of questions. There was this time when we... We lost Sister Mulea and the entire family. They, they were burnt in the, the house. Yeah, the accident. That yeah, that accident. Medium. That woman was close to me. She, she, she was like, she was calling me sweetheart because she's my tribal cousin. So the, 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 before she died, the day before she died, she even bent forward to me, said, what are you going to buy? For me, because she was shifting to Lusaka. Then the next day, we just heard that news, sad news that uh, 
Mrs. Mleya has died with her three children. So I wrote the first song from that point. I was even seeing Madame Mleya lying at the mochari. Then I wrote Vishamula Mona. I asked God a lot of questions, but in my asking, I recognized him as a, 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 a being that gives life. I think that's where I started from and I concluded that this would be the title track. But having read through scripture, I realized that all these things that are happening in the world are uh, because we are in sin. And uh, according to the scripture, all these are the signs that uh, the world is about to end. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I had a lot of things running through my mind. I, I was, you know, in that experience where we, we, we even... You were actually mourning. Yes, I was mourning and there was COVID-19. So all these things were pressing me down. But in the song, I just said, Tembenuka, repent. When you see all these things, just know that the redemption, your redemption draws nigh. So I picked uh, the title from uh, Matthew chapter 24, where the disciples went to Jesus and asked him uh, about the, 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 the end times. And he said, uh, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, you hear of earthquakes, you'll be hearing a lot of calamities befalling a mankind. Just know that your redemption dread night. Mm -hmm. So this is just the beginning of, uh, of, of, of what, what has been predicted. Okay. So the most important thing is the Benuka. That's why I concluded that my title track should be the Benuka other than complaining. So instead of complaining, we just have to go to mm -hmm. yes. That is turning away from, turning away from uh, our evil deeds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you have to explain because the Menuka is... The Menuka, yes. A, is it's a language a, that's not Chewa, in Chewa. Mm -hmm. I wrote it in Bemba, then Mr. Puta, uh, who knows a lot of languages, mm -hmm. translated for me to Chewa. The mm -hmm. means it. Uh, we uh, turn away from uh, evil deeds. As you can see behind, there is uh, a painting called the Benuka. Uh, when you turn away from, uh, from, from your evil, you, you just have to declare mm -hmm. to the public through a baptism. So get baptized and start a new life. Okay. That's the Benuka. Interesting. All right, so you've explained a number of things concerning the songs that are in the album. What should be the expectations of the invited guests and all those who are coming to support you? What should they look forward to? Okay, so since they are coming to hear authentic music, mm -hmm. original, okay. I, they expect to hear the mind of an artist. They, they, they will see what they've never seen because these things that I'm doing are coming from my mind and uh, I don't think there is somebody who shares a world with me. So I'm just telling them to say, just come and walk through my mind and understand what I think and uh, uh, what, what I think about this world. Okay. I think that's, that's, that's... Okay, so the viewers, or actually the people who are coming to the event, should actually be anticipating to see the creative thinking artifacts of Samuel Mawuko, a great artist, writer, songwriter, singer, and told you also a drama performer. 
yeah, and I write, I write, I write uh, scripts for drama, for drama poetry, mm -hmm. I also... Uh, All that. I so it's a rich form. world. It's a rich world with some of Maboko. So I would actually encourage all the viewers out there to make a debt. Make sure on the 6th, starting on the 4th, starting on the 4th of uh, June, all the way up to the 7th. So you can come through to see the, the beautiful creative arts that you can see even behind us right now. And uh, prepare something. I think it's important that you get yourself a copy. You can have one copy of this, even two or three. I hope you I are think. not concluding. <laughs> Let me also bring out an appeal okay, to okay. the business world. Mm -hmm. um, on this Sunday, we we'll have media. People will come and capture what is happening because it's a first event in the, in the province. Mm -hmm. So, uh, business people, those that are in the business world, we are kindly asking them to come on board and support this. Mm -hmm. I, I think they should also mark, they should create a mark to say we are the ones that sponsored the first thing. They should mark it in their calendars that yes. they sponsored the first ever art exhibition, exhibition. So in Rwanda province. Any token for the preparation mm -hmm. uh, will be appreciated. So if you have anything to come and uh, give us, mm -hmm. uh, please do likewise because you are supporting and you are enhancing creativity in the artists. Exactly, exactly. And thereby encouraging the upcoming artists yes. so that they you know they put in more so they know that this thing is just beyond someone sitting down and painting a picture. Yes. Of course. So uh, from what he has explained, take advantage. Businessmen, business women take advantage of this opportunity. The first ever art exhibition in Luapla province alongside an album launch uh, entitled Tembenuka, you have to come through. You can't miss, you can't afford to miss. If you can't make it on the 4th of June, try to make it on the 5th of June, all the way to the 7th. And on the 6th, we're going to have the album launch. The actual album launch is on the 6th of June. Then the remaining days, we'll have the art exhibition. Take advantage, come through, come and admire the beautiful works of creative thinking, as well as buy a product, support the work.